Weather and cold climates can exact a heavy toll on roads, and on us, the road users. The bumpy ride that comes with those all too common cracks and potholes every spring costs us lost time, frayed nerves, more tax dollars for road maintenance, and additional vehicle repairs. Thermal cracking is the number one distress in asphalt pavements, not only in Minnesota, but in all northern U.S. states and in Canada. Extreme temperature variations that include severe lows combined with frequent application of de-icing salt and repeated freeze-thaw cycles are the main contributors to distress in our asphalt pavements. Since more than 90% of all U.S. road surfaces are made out of asphalt, finding a way to extend the life of those surfaces by just a year could save billions. What better place to develop innovative pavement solutions than in Minnesota, home to some of the most severe conditions affecting roads that Mother Nature can dish out? For most of the past decade, several state DOTs and research universities, led by the Minnesota Department of Transportation and the University of Minnesota, joined forces to battle this common foe. The resulting pooled fund research partnership represents the most comprehensive effort to date, investigating low temperature cracking in asphalt materials and asphalt pavement. U of M civil engineering professor Mihai Morastino served as principal investigator on the project and MinDOT engineer Tim Klein managed the work. The main outcome of this research has been the development of new testing methods, specifications, and models for selecting asphalt materials that are resistant to thermal cracking. And that we're going to greatly reduce thermal cracking and, and delay it from when it starts occurring. And then ultimately that results in less maintenance costs, less user delays, and longer life cycle for these pavements. Field performance tests at the Min Road International Road Research Facility and samples from roads in participating states also played a key role in the research. We basically used the, the strengths of each team to uh, finish uh, in this uh, project and uh, provide our sponsors very good uh, products that they could implement to build better roads. It's not just Minnesota, but several states around the region and, and the broader northern region of the United States. They're all using the results of this research. Collaborating on research for a smoother drive on more durable roads, no matter how cold it gets, is one more way the University of Minnesota is helping to light the way to a brighter tomorrow.